Whoa, what is that? Is that a sun rising into the sky? <laughs> what, what is that? We never see the sun over there. All right, so it is time to attack this beast and to finish writing. I have 2,700 words more or less to write, but I heard that Scrivener, its word count is 500 words more than the NaNoWriMo word count. So I basically have to write 3,000 words today. And my head, my brain is just going crazy, crazy, crazy. Like I had to deal with student loan stuff again this morning and that was crazy. So I am just going to blast stuff like this. Take a deep breath and write. Cause this is good music for me right now. <laughs> Yes! Boom! Oh my goodness, the last words were pulling teeth again. And I think it's just because I knew I was getting close to being done. And I'll pause the music so I can talk without dis distracting myself. Oh, okay. So, the NaNoWriMo part is done. The book is far from done. I think a mistake a lot of people make with doing NaNoWriMo is they, they're like, oh, I wrote a book, because 50,000 is, for some, a book, for some, not at all a book. Um, most print books are more like 60, 70,000, 100,000, depending on genre and publisher. But I know romance, if you're writing a typical romance, probably 70, 75,000. I think that's how much Katie's is. Um, and that's Harlequin, so that's pretty standard. So, <clears throat> 50,000 words is not a novel. I mean, it is a novel, absolutely. Uh, but a lot of people just do it and they're like, oh, I wrote a book, I can submit to a publisher. Wrong. So, um, yes, lot, lot, lot of things to be done to this uh, novel. Um, I probably have to gut the entire first three chapters, at least and completely rewrite them and add a lot more to them. Um, but luckily, the uh, submission guidelines, they're for this imprint that I want to submit to, it's 45,000 words to 60,000 words. So I don't have to worry about adding a lot of things, but the thing is, and I think if you'll remember when I was writing two months ago, something like that, I've discovered that when I go back and reread something and then start adding and editing, I actually, I take words away, but then I add so much more description. So I'm kind of screwed. If the book is 50,000 right now, and I know there's a lot of stuff that I need to add, factor in that plus my natural uh, tendency, I guess, um, to, while editing, add a lot of description and details and stuff like that. I'm probably gonna go over, uh, so I have to figure out what's important, what what to cut, what to add, stuff like that. Uh, but that is stuff that I want to worry about, not today. <laughs> today I am done with NaNoWriMo and that is important. And I'm going to take this night to celebrate. And then I'll work on this later. <laughs> but right now my head is killing me. So I think I'm gonna take like an hour nap and then I have to work uh, I am moving down to the basement tonight, I have to, and then my move down to the basement will become more and more permanent. I think my grandmother and I are going to go, we went to an antique store last weekend, and I think we're going to go back and buy a dresser, so that I have a dresser downstairs for my clothes. And then when my parents come December 20th, I think they come the 20th. I'm going to have all my books, which I'm so happy about, and movies and stuff like that. And um, I'll be moving even more stuff down there. So the basement will become my home. Um, so yes, I have to move a lot of the stuff I have in the room that I've been staying in downstairs somehow. But before that, I'm napping because my head hurts. <laughs> and so I just wanted to share that I won NaNoWriMo for the second year in a row. 
I won last year. And I actually have a vlog of that somewhere. I don't know. Search in my videos. It's probably called I Won. I don't know. I'm not looking it up because it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I was vlogging this time last year and I know I won NaNoWriMo. And you can go back and see me go, yay, I won. And I think I won almost last minute. I think. But I'm not sure. I can't remember. That's why I vlog. <laughs> so obviously I'm rambling now. You can tell I'm tired. So I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> see you when I wake up. Before I go nap, I just did some calculations. Some calculations, like it's some big thing. Uh, anyway, I was just looking at my map, my graph, and I started eight days late and there were a couple days that I didn't write at all. So I was looking at those days, I counted it up. Oh my gosh, there's so much static in this blanket. Anyway, um, distracted, tired. I wrote 50,000 words in 18 days. 18 freaking days I wrote 50k. I am so shocked and proud of myself. Um, that's crazy. And the fact that I don't hate it, I have never, knock on wood, where's wood, 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 wood. Not like I'm suspicious, but I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, um, I have never hated this work in progress yet. And I know the uh, post-apocalyptic one that I started as my, I started writing it a couple months ago. I was actually, I, ins I was inspired by the, um, the feeder shooting in Aurora. Uh, not really inspired, but that was, I remember that was the day I started, the, the day of the shooting. That's when I started writing that. And then I, uh, was, what, how far was I into that? Was I 30k into that? No, I wasn't that far. I was, maybe, maybe 30k into that. No. No, I was 13,000 into that work in progress when I started using it as my NaNoWriMo. And at that point, I was so tired of it. I didn't know where it was going and I didn't like what I was writing. This, I got to 50... Text from my mom. I got to 50,000 words and did not hate it at any point. I got frustrated with it. I didn't know what I was writing at any point. But I never hated it. Which is something I've never encountered before. So, this is a keeper, I think. <laughs> I think. So, there's, like I said, there's a lot to be done, but I really need to go nap now. So I should probably stop talking to people and stop vlogging. <sighs> oh well. And now comes the point where it's 1am and I'm dancing around a dubstep in the house. Am I making you dizzy? It's okay, I have vertigo. This is probably not good for me to be doing right now. I'm gonna stop now. Sorry mom if I'm making you throw up. <laughs> I'm dancing is that it gets somebody worked up. Come here. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what are you doing in there? <laughs> in typical me fashion, it's 2.43 a.m. And I'm just going to start making some banana bread sent by the lovely Heather. And uh, it's her grandmother's recipe, so I'm excited about how this is going to turn out. Except I only have two bananas, and I don't know how woo, how good they are. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm trying. 30 minutes to go. It's smelling really, really good. Since it's 4.44 a.m. I'm actually going to end this vlog. Uh, I should be going to sleep soon, but I'm getting closer and closer. And the battery died. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to end the vlog. So, good night slash good morning, and I'll see you probably in five minutes. <laughs>